yakadul do sound is directly going to connect with lam dul next word is barqu yakhtafu here top of that this letter has two dots at the bottom this is letter ya and after that this one is letter kha it has one dot on the top ya sound is going to connect with kha it becomes yakhtafu absarahum the ba is appearing in blue color which means we have to make echo sound here and this echo sound happens naturally saw sound we have to make it for two count because of small alif absarahum kullama the ma sound we have to make it long at least for three count because of mad sign adaa this da sound we have to make at least for 5 to 6 count because of the mad sign next word lahum simply we can explain the hu sound is going to connect here with the second mim and it has a shadda sign on the top so we have to stretch the connection for two count hum sound this m sound we have to make for two count lahum mashaw fihi fi is a long sound because of letter ya we have to stretch the fi sound for two count mashaw fihi wa idha za sound at least we have to stretch for three count azlama letter za the tip of tongue is touching with the edges of frontal teeth and this is also a heavy letter azlama alayhim this shape what you can see here that is letter ha and it has a kasra so the he sound alayhim qamu walaw sha allah ladhaba we have to make the quick sound on each letter because these are the short vowels ladhaba bi sam'ihim wa absarihim inna allah in sound we have to make for two count because letter noon has a shadda sign ala kulli shay'in double kasra is appearing in green color that's why we have to hide the sound of noon while hiding the sound of noon tongue is not touching any part of the mouth and sound goes into the nose for two count shay'in qadir the word is qadirun at the time of stop we are going to convert the last sign into a connecting sign then this d long syllable is going to connect with ra at the time of stop qadir ya ayyu and here that is letter ha going to connect with noon directly and also we have to stretch the connection because noon is appearing in green color with shadda sign ya ayyuhan nasu the su is connecting directly with the ain because it has a sukun sign on the top su budu now one more time we can pronounce all these words together ya ayyuhan nasu budu rabbakum alladhi whenever you see the ra is appearing in dark blue color that time the ra we have to pronounce with heavy sound like ra rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum walladhina this word is min and the noon is appearing in green color without having any sign on the top which means we have to hide the sound of noon this one becomes mi for two count this sound we have to make mi qablikum la allakum tattaqun the same thing we have to do here the last sign we have to convert into a connecting sign the ku long syllable is going to connect with noon at the time of stop and one more thing the wow is appearing in orange color which means that normally we stretch dhamma sound because of letter wow for two count and here at least we have to stretch it for three count that taqun alladhi here as you can see there is no sign top of alif 
This is Hamzatul Wasl and we have to give it Fatha and then it becomes a sound. If you want to learn all the rules about Hamzatul Wasl, you can watch this video. Alladhi ja'ala lakumul. The mu sound is going to connect with the next letter because here we have a sukun sign. So the mu sound we have to connect with letter lam. Lakumul. And then we have letter hamza connecting with ra. Arda. Firashaw. Wow is appearing in green color, which means the previous sound is automatically going to merge with letter wow. This shun sound is going to connect with wow with nasal sound. And this sound we have to make it for two count. Firashaw. Wassamaa. The same thing we have to apply here. Bina wa anzala. Also, we have to hide the sound of noon, and the sound becomes like a wa anzala. Mina samai ma Also, here the fathatain is appearing in green color, which means we have to hide the sound of noon. This is an. We are pronouncing the noon sound at the end. This noon become nasal sound, and we have to make the nasal sound for two count. Ma fa bihi. The he sound is for two count because there is a small ya after that. Bihi mina thamarati. Letter tha. The tip of tongue is touching with the edges of frontal teeth and we pronounce it very softly. Mina thamarati. Rizqal lakum fala taj'alu lillahi. If you notice, I'm stretching the last sound for two count and that is because of hidden small alif. In the name of Allah, all the time there is a hidden small alif. And according to the writing style, this small alif is not written. That's why we have to stretch the last sound for two count. Lillahi. The last sound is for two count. So we have to apply nasal sound here. And then dan is merging with letter vowel. And then again here we have to hide the sound of noon. And all such type of sound we have to make for two count. Whenever letter mim has a shadda sign, we have to stretch the connection for two count. Fa to the fa is connecting with Hamza and the sound becomes very quick because the sound is ending at the end of throat. Fa to next word is bisu ratim and then this me is directly going to connect with the second meme. Noon is appearing in grey color, which means this is silent. Me is connecting with the second meme. Mim mithlihi wadu. Shuhada akum min dunillahi inkuntum sadiqeen fa illam the e sound is directly connecting with lam because lam has a shadda sign on the top fa illam taf'alu wa la taf'alu fattaqun the Qu sound is going to connect here with Noon because it has a Shadda sign on the top. Whenever you see a letter has a sign and after some letters we have a connecting sign. So all the letters which are coming between a sign and connecting sign they become silent. So the connection is between Qu and letter Noon and it becomes وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةُ وَعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Well done. And by the way, if any word is not clear or you have any question in your mind, 
so you can ask that in comment section and in case if any tajweed rule is not clear and you want to know more details about a specific tajweed rules so you can ask in comment section we'll make a separate video about that and if you want to learn more details about hiding the sound of noon i have made a separate video about that you can check this video after watching this video you can easily hide the sound of noon and if you want to listen the recitation of this page you can watch this video thank you very much take care and see you inshallah in the next video